fitness and health. And I have with me a yoga instructor, Ryan Tillman. Thanks for coming on the show. So a lot of people right now, because of New Year's, they're going to start exercising and becoming more active. But stretching is probably one of the most important things that you have to start with, correct? Absolutely. It's also one of the most neglected, I think. I agree. I agree. And you know what? Right now, I have a cramp from sitting like this because we've been on the floor for a couple minutes. So I need some help with this. Do you have some poses you're going to walk us through here? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. I would start with as basic as it gets which is going to be a seated forward fold. Any should we, anybody should be able to do this at any level. So feet will come out in front. Okay. You want to try to have the legs together. If it's uncomfortable, you can have a little towel rolled up underneath the knees. Nice. <laughs> so from here, something I like to point out, we're not falling over the legs. We're not just trying to reach towards our toes, but we're going to tilt our back all the way from the hips and the pelvis. So you're going to reach and give a tilt. If you can't reach far, you're just going to relax your arms down, okay. keep your back straight, and think about extending through your head. So from here, eventually, you'll be able to forward fold. But hitting the knees is good, right? Yes, <laughs> right absolutely. <laughs> and again, it's not that collapse of the shoulders, but yeah, tilting okay, from that, here. Oh, okay. And you're right. going to be able to stretch from the base of your heels yes. all the way through the back of your legs, through your glutes, coming all the way to the back, eventually connecting to the base of the skull. Yeah, I, I feel like a tingle and a sharp pain yeah. throughout. Yes. Is that good or no? Honestly, is that all right? Breathe deep, and if it doesn't uh, doesn't loosen up, you might want to pull back. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> all right. The next one. Okay. So the next one's going to be still sticking with the lower body. We're going to go butterfly. Oh, so you're going to bring those soles of the feet together. Those heels are going to go in. <laughs> you might have some distance. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> we want to think about the knees relaxing down. Okay. Some of you might have the knees higher up. That release will eventually come. Okay. Eventually, we'll be able to bring those heels in. Your knees, knees will go down. All right. You could give a gentle bounce. We could. <laughs> yes. So you're stretching the whole inside of the legs. So you're going to hit through the IT band, the glute, and that's actually going to relieve low back pain. So if you overdo something in the gym, that low back's irritating you a little bit, hop down on your floor, bring your feet together, give a couple flutter flutters, and you'll feel that pain release. Gotcha. Next one. So next one's going to go to a spinal twist. You're going to start again with the legs out in front. Okay. You will take one foot over that opposite knee. Yes. You're going to take that same hand Ugh. behind your back. Opposite hand is going to reach to the knee. Your hand's going to go up. You're going to try to press into your knee. You could just hear my back pop, maybe, and try to look over your opposite shoulder. So you're stretching the entire torso, giving the spinal nerves a lot of needed attention. You're hitting all your tiny muscles through the obliques, through your lats. That one actually felt pretty good. That yeah. one didn't feel as through bad the as the other ones. <laughs> Huge on that. You're adding neck mobility back, which okay. we lose from looking down all day. You're strengthening it, so it's extremely beneficial. Now, how often should you stretch? Every day? Before exercise? It's one of those things that it's um, every single day that you stretch, you're improving your body, you're improving your health. So I recommend it every day. Even if it's in the bed, you can just do those ones I just showed you. Okay. Um, but it's something, please, every time after you lift, after you run, anything, you're tensing your muscles, you're balling them up. We want to stretch long, a sure. relieve lactic acid. Now, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I have to. Eden mentioned that <laughs> you could do some crazy stuff, but you're so flexible. Yes. Can you show us some? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, I'll try, to, I'll try to think of something pretty basic. So, um, we have your simple crow, which is going to be, typically, we come to here. So, once you advance, okay. one of my favorites has been... Dropping to the legs coming on top. So from here, that's pretty you crazy. Straighten, you can lift up. And now my first my personal favorite is dropping all the way down <laughs> and hovering. <laughs> and come all the way back up. <laughs> well, so I'm one. <laughs> Should I continue? <laughs> no, I, I think I think that's good. My turn. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Ryan, for more information, where can people learn more about you and the classes? So I do have a Facebook page, Satsa Yoga by Ryan. Okay. Um, and it's S A T T V A. And my Ryan is two N's, R Y A N N. And Yoga by Ryan at Gmail is my email. Thank you for coming out. Yes, I appreciate thank it. Thank you for having All me. All right, we'll have more after this. Coming up on.